Uh, this next tutorial is about the file menu and this might seem a bit of a strange thing to look at seeing as we've talked about the file menu already but it's actually got a few kind of hidden tricks and this is how I actually write or compose or whatever you want to say. Um, Nanoloop has this kind of song pattern editing mode which I personally don't really like very much. Um, I actually do all of my stuff here. Um, if you remember we have these little six or seven patterns that we recorded way 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 back at the very beginning of the tutorial. Just a quick bit of revision, if you press up uh, B and hold up you can hear what we did and not really very much to speak of there. Um, so if you pan across a little bit to the right, I've made a few um, uh, patterns or whatever, few cells that you can actually call something a little bit more close to a song. Um, you can knock up a couple of your own, just bass line, um, percussion, kick drum, maybe a couple of chords or whatever, a lead or something, and practice yourself. Um, I'm just going to load them one after the other to show you what they are. Kick drum. Two kick drums. Funky rhythm kick drums. Weird bloop noise. Two weird bloop noises. Ugh. Variations on bloop noises. Chord. Different chord. Simple hats. Hats and snares. Hats and more snares. Um, to turn off each pattern or each cell, whatever, I'm just loading one, going to an empty one, loading the empty one. Um, the green cells have data saved in them, the white cells don't. Um, another quick bit of revision, if you hold down A and press up, you load every cell in that column. To turn it off again, you can just um, use every cell with a blank column, hold up and A, and then you will load everything. Um, couple of quick groovy things to start with. Um, if you hold down up and A, um, so I'm just going to adjust the screen slide. Hold down up and A, we're going to load all of these cells in the number 7 column. And I'm going to show you how you can mute and solo things. Mute means turn off the highlighted cell. Solo means turn off, turn off everything except the highlighted cell. So hold up and A. We have a little beat going, whatever you want to say. Um, if you hold down... <coughs> oh, excuse me. If you hold down A and B and press left, you can see a little cross appears next to the R on the left side of the screen. Um, this means that the channel we're on at the moment is now muted, so there's no kick drum. If you press right, kick drum comes back. Select a different channel. Hold left, it gets muted. Hold right, unmute. And you can do this for any number of channels. Also, you don't have to highlight the um, square that you're over if you don't want to. So one kind of useful trick, if you mute the kick drum, you can move over to a different kick drum pattern, hold down B, press up, load the kick drum, and then unmute it, which is kind of useful. So let's mute that again. Um, the other thing that you can do, I'm just going to go back to our original thing. Um, so hold left to mute, hold right to unmute. If you hold down B and A and right, no, sorry, that's a little tricky to see, you will um, mute everything except the highlighted channel, which is called soloing. Um, kind of strangely, if you press right again, this will 
unsolo it. So it's right to solo, right to unsolo. With mute, it's left to mute, right to unmute. Perhaps just a little bit confusing. Um, one other thing that you can do, if you notice in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can see 120. This is the BPM. Um, and if you look at uh, number 5, this actually has a much slower BPM. Um, if you press uh, B and up, you probably notice that the BPM didn't change, even though 5 has a different BPM. To load the BPM with the cell, if you hold down right and press B and then press up, sorry, jog the screen there a little bit, you load the BPM and the contents of that cell, and the BPM affects everything. Um, if you want to load only the BPM, so if you remember this uh, channel R cell B had lots and lots of drums, if you hold down only B and press up, it's loaded the BPM from that cell, but it hasn't actually loaded the contents of the cell, which is pretty useful um, if you're doing BPM changes. Quick thing to note, A plus B, sorry, A plus R plus up doesn't load BPMs. Um, it just doesn't work. Um, very, very quickly, I'm going to do a little bit of just messing around um, to show you what you can kind of accomplish with the file menu using it as a kind of live mode, I guess. Uh, one more quick point. Cell 0, you can't actually save anything at all. So if you have um, no spaces left in any particular channel, you can always load um, 0 for a blank channel if you want to. Another very quick thing, if you press um, right at the left edge of the screen, sorry, if you press left at the left edge of the screen, you kind of skip to the right. Press right at the right edge of the screen, you skip back. Up at the top, you go to the bottom. Down at the bottom, you go to the top. It's maybe kind of handy for navigating around. So let's just mess about a little bit. Let's, let's not try that, shall we? Screw that up a little bit. So yeah, there you have it. Um, just by simply kind of loading in different cells, blanking them out, muting them, uh, soloing them. Not muting them and soloing at the same time like I did. Um, I did try to bluff that. I don't actually use mute and solo very much at all. I tend to load empty cells. You can get quite a lot of mileage out of just, say, 12, 13 different patterns. You can write whole songs like that. Um, it's really, really quite useful. I personally prefer it to song mode, which I might get onto just a little bit later. Um, that's it for now. Thank you once again for watching and listening, and I have a tune from Henry Home Sweet for you. Thank you very much.